Dropping some knowledge for you. Let's go. Here's the sketch. Nice and loose. As you notice, I'm painting in this first line here. This is your baseline. The next line is the median line. These are going to be the lines where the letters fall on. The top line is going to be your ascender. That's going to be the capital letters top height, as well as any additional tall letters such as the H. Now you notice these other lines I'm putting in pretty evenly spaced. These are going to be my grid lines for each letter. For here on the outline, I'm just doing it really loose. You don't have to be too perfect with it. Just want to get the feel of it laid in. You notice the bottom line that I painted in for the S? That's your descender line as well. Again, I'm just sharpening it up a little just to get a feel of the thickness of each letter. You want to try and keep them consistent. You notice here I'm going in with a lighter color just to really bring out the outline itself so I get a better feel of each letter and its sizing. You'll notice here that the, the bottom of each letters on the right side, they all go in the same direction. Um, that's something a lot of guys tend to miss when they're doing these type of letters. Here I'm just cleaning up the background area, any of that, the, the initial uh, sketch. Next I'm going in with the outline color. Here I'm putting in the green outline. This is important to get this nice and clean for the final run. Again, cleaning up a little. Here I go filling in the inside, the fill in color. Again, this doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to get it laid in nice. The cap used in this piece is the universal yellow. Next, I paint a lighter value of blue. Now I'm coming back with the outline color and I'm thickening it up nice. I'm trying to get it as sharp as possible. Doesn't have to be perfect because at the end I'm going to go in and clean it up with the background color. Again, I'm trying to keep the green as thick as possible, keeping it uniform throughout the entire piece. You notice I'm cutting back, cleaning up the lines, making them nice and sharp. Here I use a McLean cap, a gray dot, and I'm just lightly spraying in some highlight points. I know a lot of old school guys always like to go top one side and right it, it, to me when you're doing highlights like this you could put them all over anything that shines doesn't have a certain direction all the time now i'm just going back with the background color and i cut it up took a quick photo to see how it looks and now i'm going to put some drop shadow in if you like the video hit subscribe leave a comment on future ideas for upcoming tutorials. Also follow on Instagram at verse718. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.